Hey guys, what's going on? This is Linear with iOS Shilbrickson and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your iOS 7 font to any kind of font that you may like. So as you can see in my notification center, I do have a different font as to the iOS 7 default and um, in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the fonts that I have as well as how to get the tweak itself. So you must be jailbroken to be able to do this and you can find a link to my latest jailbreak tutorial down below in the description. Alright, the tweak that we are going to be using is called Byte Font 2 and as you can see I do have the Caveat Dreams font selected and you can basically have a look at uh, the overview, frequently asked questions, how to, uh, where you will be able to read what to do with it but let's not go into that too much. You can also browse for some of the fonts available and um, then you can go into basic and select the fonts that you have downloaded. Alright, so as you can see I do have the Caviar Dreams font selected and right now I'm just going to be opening up Cydia and I'll show you guys how to get the tweak and install the fonts. Alright guys, once you have Cydia all loaded up, all you have to do is just go into search and search for Byte Font. So, uh, as you can see, uh, Byte Font and Byte Font 2 just appeared and you want to select Byte Font 2 because that is the only one that's compatible with iOS 7 and um, you know all the A7 devices. Alright guys so once you go into Byte Font 2 you just want to hit install and you should be able to install it really quickly and just hit restart springboard and you should have Byte Font all installed. Now uh, once you do have it installed you won't have any tweaks to start off with but right now I'm just going to be showing you how to get the fonts um, onto your Byte Font. Alright guys, so once you have Byte Font installed, all you have to do is just go into Sections and then Find Fonts and go into Byte Font 2. Not the other one because you will not be able to find iOS 7 compatible fonts that way. So just go into Fonts for Byte Font 2 and as you can see, all of these new fonts are available and they have been updated and you just want to install any of these that you like. So as you can see, I do have the Caviar Dreams font but uh, for this video I will install another one. Let's install this one. All you have to do is just hit install and then confirm and it should install it for you. Alright guys, once the tweak is installed, you will have to return to Cydia and once you do that, just hit the home button and go into Byte Font 2. There's no need for a respring at the moment, but once you do select your new font, you will have to respring. So just hit yes and your device should respring. Alright guys, once your device respring's, you should be able to see that the new font has taken effect on your device of course and if I just slide to unlock and go back in my notification center as you can see it's now different from the other font that I had the best thing about this tweak is that the fonts take effect anywhere you go so even inside of photos camera even you know third-party apps like YouTube and eBay um, you will be able to use that um, same font everywhere you go so that's a great thing about this tweak and that pretty much wraps up my tutorial on how to change your font in iOS 7. If you did enjoy this and I was able to help you, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out a ton. And also be sure to subscribe if you want to see more great tutorials like this. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.